Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to stabilize your shaky footage. Today's episode is not sponsored by the Detroit Lions, but it could be Detroit, it could be. So a lot of times when we're filming, you're gonna find that you don't have time to swap your camera onto a steady cam or a glide cam or some sort of handheld device that's gonna stabilize your footage. So a lot of times you're gonna to have to go handheld. And when you do, you will get shaky footage. It's gonna look like you're shooting the Blair Witch Trial. It's gonna look terrible. And there's a couple ways to fix it. And today I'm going to teach you about the Warp Stabilizer tool in Premiere Pro. I already set up the timeline. Uh, set up the new project. You can see it all right in here. So this is our clip that we're going to stabilize today. It's a 15 second clip. We want to find a nice three to seven seconds of it that we really like, and we're going to stabilize it. So let's watch the clip. I'll just make it big. So you can see it's crazy. I am hanging outside of a car window, trying to shoot this going 50, 60 miles an hour handheld in Vancouver in February. So fun but not bad, easily stabilized. And this is how we're gonna do it. We wanna scrub through again, and we wanna find where we wanna begin. I kinda like it on this little degree angle that you can see here. I wanna start with seeing the front of it, right about there. I'm gonna mark it in by clicking I on our keyboard. Hit space, we're gonna play it through. We can kinda scrub, and I wanna end it probably right as it gets black up in this corner right here. So play it through, hit out or O in order to mark it out. Click and drag it onto our sequence. This Adobe is gonna be like, yo, you shot this in 4K and you're working on a 1080p timeline. And I'm like, duh, obviously. We're gonna keep the existing settings. And as you can see, it's huge, huge. So now we're going to want to set this to the frame size of 1080p. You're gonna right click it, set the frame size, and boom, now it fits on a 1080p timeline. So here is how we stabilize it. Very simply, come down to your effects tool down here and type in warp, and you'll see warp stabilizer will pop up. You can click warp stabilizer and drag it onto the footage, not the audio, it won't go, right onto the footage and drop. Now here's what you'll see right over here. It says analyzing in background. If you come up to our effect controls, you'll see right here, warp stabilizer is now on it. And it tells me we got about three minutes of it analyzing the footage. It's basically just taking it in, figuring out how far it needs to zoom in, what it needs to do to stabilize said footage. While it's stabilizing, let me take this time to say, hey, if I'm helping you and you're learning something, like, comment, tell me what else you wanna learn and I'll help you out. Or maybe I won't help you out. It's only one way to tell. And that's write something and then we'll see what I do. All right, in order to play this, you could tell that we have this red strip right here. So we're gonna want to mark this in to out. So click the O button on your timeline. If you hit O on your keyboard um, and then set it and then set it to the end. You now have your in to out. We're gonna to go to sequence, render in to out, and this is just gonna smooth it so that we can play it. If we try to play it with that red bar on top, it's gonna to be all choppy and it's gonna look like you didn't do anything. All right, now that it's rendered, we have this beautiful green bar that tells us we can play it back nice and smooth. So let's play it. Mm. And there it is a perfectly smooth and well-balanced shot. So a lot of times when you're in the field and you don't have the time to switch out, throw your gear on to a steady cam, you can do it by hand and then in Premiere Pro, use the warp stabilizer tool to get some sick footage. So with that being said, thank you Detroit Lions for not sponsoring this episode. And we'll see you next time. Tell me what you wanna learn. Like, subscribe for more tutorials, comment. Tell me what you think. Even if it's about the lions, don't be mean. Don't be mean about it because I like them, so.